Now, what? what about that Martin that's peeking over there? Oh, yeah, and the Martin is 12 string. We started getting into this on the last album, um, just this 12 string thing. Yeah. And again, it's like, I think, you know, I, I don't know. I just can't stop thinking about the guitar as a sort of like a part of the drum kit. Um, you know, I don't think it needs, to, it should exist on its own in a song. I think it needs to like sort of be backed up by something, you know? So it's either like you're following the vocals or you're following the yeah. drums, you know? Like I think you could do without guitars in a lot of songs, you know what I mean? You can't do without vocals or drums it's kind of like, bass, it's kind of like, my opinion you know well it's kind of taking like the instrument back to being an accompaniment of a bigger like a big band exactly yeah. it's all it's all a part of each other you yeah know? so i found these guitars maybe we just move this do you mind because i only use this on the deluxe i'm just going to put that mic on look at on that this. Uh. <laughs> well, he's teching for himself <laughs> folks um so that goes yeah the sound guy's gonna love that um what is it? Yeah, so I use the, the, the deluxe for that, and it's just literally just a little bit of gain through the MXR microamp, which everyone seems to have here. Like yeah. You look at the monkey's rig, and an, every, there's one of those on every board, you know? So it just shows they're an amazing pedal. They just kick through the amp, you know, make them just make yeah. every amp sound a little bit better. And a bit of reverb, and it's just like. Going back to that thing, it's such a beautiful sound with a little bit of drive and like the, sp the sprinkle. And I just think it sounds, to me, it sounds very like uh, like hi hats, you know, like it's. A Listen to that string without even without the amp, you know, there's like. Um you know, so to me, that just sits in with this the hi hat in such a beautiful way, you know. Um, and I don't see space for like a six string acoustic on, on our tracks, you yeah. know, I just don't see it. But, but I do see, I do want that kind of sort of organic quality, you know. Why not uh, go with an electric 12 like a Rick or, or even a Dano? To be honest, I've never tried them. Oh, okay. Like simply like when we, when we were doing the pre-production for the album and we started using the 12 strings, we were using a cheap Fender 12 string that they sent to us. Yeah. Uh, and then we needed something better for the studio and I remembered that uh, I'd met Richard Hawley, uh, you know Richard Hawley? Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, absolutely incredible guitar player as well. Um, he, I met him in Sheffield a few years before that and he said to me, you know, anytime you need anything, you just call me, I have every guitar in the world, you know? like That's a cool feeling. And I was like, okay, yeah, I probably never will do that, you know? <laughs> and, uh, I don't want to bother you, Mr. Exactly. <laughs> but then a few years later, we're doing this album and I was just like, I really need an amazing 12 string, you know? So I gave him a call and he brought down this incredible filed guitar, okay. uh, 12 string that he got like custom made. Little body, little parlor guitar. The, the 12, oh, it was amazing. So we recorded all the 12 strings on the album with that. And, and then we just had to find something similar because that guitar is yeah. over 10 grand, you know? So, so Not we need yet. to. So I've, we went shopping for guitars and just me and Curly, we were shopping to buy one guitar that we could share. and. Uh, we actually couldn't agree on one, me and Curdy. So, so we both got one each. Uh, but I'm I'm delighted because this one won. The other one's not on tour anymore. Oh really? So, yeah. <laughs> this is the one I picked. <laughs> so he, I don't know. I think he got a, a seagull guitar. I don't know. He just really liked how it was a bit like harder, I guess. Yeah. You know? Whereas this is just so like, it's just so sparkly, you know. Yeah. And I just sent it to me, it was, I was just trying to find something similar to that little parlor, you know, file guitar. Yeah. And this comes pretty close and that combined with the deluxe just... And we also have like a DI, so it's like you're getting like the clean sort of like sparkle mixed oh, with, okay. the, with the sort of like, you know, a bit of like, you know, a bit of saturation Amps in the on. low end and, and the really nice tail of the reverb, you know. You know, it's just like... Somebody call the heart doctor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>